Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown. Welcome to Real Time Music and Sound with Pure Data. In this episode, we're going to be looking at Euclidean rhythms. Uh, Euclidean rhythms is a kind of an algorithm which tends to try and space out um, hits across a certain number of steps in a sequenced pattern. The um, original paper for this um, by Gottfried Toussaint um, is this one here, the Euclidean algorithm. In this he outlines how it's um, applied to that and he also uh, shows how these kinds of Euclidean well-spaced patterns um, are prevalent in many many uh, musical styles around the world. So let's uh, have a look at see how we can do that. One of the things we might do first is just to have a quick look at what we're talking about. If we have um, a number of steps in our sequence, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's just use eight steps um, as an example, then it might be that what we really want to do is to have three um, hits or three uh, pulses, three notes in that, and then the remainder are rests. So that would be one way of doing it. We'd have three notes and then five rests. If we want to evenly space that, then the, Euclid the algorithm which is used in the Euclidean rhythms um, takes a process where it looks at each one of the um, notes and then tries to separate them with rests. So we can get note, rest, note, rest, note, rest. And that still gives us a couple of rests um, at the end. So we've got this big gap and so forth. So we're not quite as well spaced even by that stage as we could be. So if we add some more rests we, after each note, we can move some of the rests to there. We go note, rest, rest, note, rest, rest. And that gives us six. Then we go note, rest and that makes our eight steps and that's pretty much as um, well spaced um, as we can be. So this is the kind of process which is going on but we need an algorithm um, to do that. Um, I'm going to in this particular example use um, a simplification of that algorithm um, in PD which was posted on the PD patch pro sorry P PD patch repo uh, forum by a user called Stutter. So thanks very much Stutter whoever you are for doing that, that was fantastic. Alright, let's get into it. We are going to basically create a simple sequencer um, in order to show this pattern going. So we're going to use a metronome, uh, we can start our metronome with a toggle. Like all sequencers we need to have a counter Every time that happens, we're going to add one to our count. Um, it's probably useful that we can restart the counter at zero um, whenever we restart the toggle. So I'll use this little trick here to do that. And then we need to modulo by the number of steps. Um, let's say we use a 16 step sequence um, in this particular example. Alright, so there's the basis of our basic sequence. So now what we need to do is to do the, the algorithm which is going to parse the steps to see whether or not we need to have a note or a rest on any particular beat. Often in the Euclidean rhythms it's also possible to um, do an offset so that you kind of rotate um, whether or not you start on the first beat. We're going to, for them now, stay on the first beat, so that means we have an offset of zero, but we might want to change that as we go. We then uh, multiply by the number of um, hits that we want to have, or the number of notes that we want to have. So let's create um, a variable for that. Um, so that we can change that. So this is going to be um, the notes, number of notes that we want. That's going to be somewhere between 0 and 16. Oops. 
let's put that on the right hand side. Um, then once that is done we then need to modulo again by the number of steps in our sequencer which in this case is 16 and we then need to check whether or not um, that modulo result is less than the number of nodes that we want um, that's going to that um, uh, less than sign here is going that conditional is going to give us a one or zero result and we want to select um, ones which means that it's true so that's all good um, so that means that what's going to come out on this side is um, the hits so let's give that a go if I move this up to say nine we want nine notes out of 16 to be hits and then we start we get um, hits there we can also check um, on the other side to see when there are rests so for example I could just make that so that it shows when there are notes and when there are rests okay so we obviously would like to um, hear that we need to uh, store the modulo amount, the note that we've got here um, in a number box and then trigger that because I, in my playback I want to be able to distinguish between um, say the first or second note of the uh, sequence and other notes. Um, so in order to do that I just need to insert in here a trigger so I can make sure that I pass the step number down to our float before I pass it down here um, and so here what will happen is that as we play we'll get the um, count numbers that are coming out when we want to play notes all right so that's all good now we need it to make a noise um, I've prepared earlier an abstraction to give us a clave sound um, so let's have a listen to that and we can change the number of notes we want to play oops that to be a whole number for evenly divides if we put it up like so uh, for those of you who are interested this uh, clave patch uh, looks like this it's basically a very simple clave patch just with a sine wave oscillator and a very um, short um, attack and I've got a different pitch on the downbeat than the off beats uh, you can create a more interesting clave sound by replacing the sine wave oscillator with something like a triangle and band pass it but leave that for another day so that's the basis for getting um, the Euclidean rhythm um, in one part. Let's say we wanted to get it um, running for a second part. It's pretty much um, a case of copying all of this, pasting it somewhere else. Um, we'll create another variable to um, set the number of notes in this second part and then we'll pass that to there um, I might change that from a clave to a cowbell sound Oops, can't spell cowbell there we go so in this second part we'll set um, a different number of um, notes to play um, in spread out our Euclidean algorithm and so we've got the clave and the cowbell, let's start them both and we can dynamically change So as you can hear it's um, 
really interesting to be able to automatically have that sort of even spacing of the parts using this Euclidean rhythm algorithm. If you wanted to get the full kind of um, world music sound, not only can you make these happen uh, with sequences where you've got the same number of steps and so forth, but if you combine the Euclidean um, algorithm with some polyrhythms um, so that each of these parts are across a different number of steps through the cycle, um, you'll get some very authentic um, world music sounds. But I'll leave that extension as an exercise for you. See you in another video.